So, welcome to the fifth class video of Project uh, Project Programming Concept. So, in the last video, we have been discussing about uh, the prose concept and the prose keyword. So, we already know what we mean by prose, or prose and uh, what are the general, uh, what is the general form of prose. And here, uh, after prose, we have to list all the exceptions subjected by comma. So, uh, I was explaining this example in the previous video. Uh, uh, so there is a class by the name pro demo. So after that I have taken one uh, method by the name uh, static void pro one. So pro one is the name of the so inside that I have written system dot out of the name inside pro one. Now so here I am uh, throwing one uh, exception that is illegal access exception. So by using the pro keyword. So you know the syntax of pro keyword. So after that you write a new then Case, then you are right, this is a probable instance or this is an exception. So, illegal access exception will be thrown now. So, I think uh, nothing is there to handle this uh, illegal access exception. So, hence, the default exception handler will take care of this kind of exception. So, to make this example compiled, we need to make two changes over here. First, we need to declare the throw one, throw illegal uh, exception, access exception. So this row one method should throw illegal exception. That is illegal exception. Second, main must define write by cache statement to catch this exception. So it shows the illegal exception, and uh, if there should be try and catch block in uh, wide main uh, function. So that should handle the exception. This two changes you have to make it over here. Then it becomes a perfectly valid program. So otherwise, uh, this will not compile. It will give error message because so when we throw an exception that is uh, illegal access exception, so then try and catch block is not there to handle that exception. So and uh, main uh, another one is so since this throw one method is throwing illegal access exception, we have to write uh, here like throws illegal access exception. That throws keyword should be there. And one more change is in the main method you have to write try and catch block to handle this uh, illegal access. So then only this program becomes perfect and it will be perfectly compiled. Now this program will not compile, definitely it will do error message. So let us look at the corrected example look at this. So I'll take the I have taken the same class that is class uh, throw demo, then the same method that is static void throw one. Now look at this. I have written a throws keyword. So throws it will throw one exception, that exception is illegal exception. So that exception is throws. If more than one exception are there, then I have to write the list of exceptions separated by comma. And system dot out of front end, we have to use this method inside uh, throw one. So after that, look at this throw a new illegal access exception. So this illegal access exception is thrown. So control will transfer from this position to uh, and we check where that exception is handled. You can look at this uh, cache statement, it is handling the illegal access exception. The object is E, so then it will print off with exception object will be printed. So, first method printed is inside row 1. So, after that, the inline will throw that illegal exception. So, illegal exception means the control will transfer to the cat block, and because it is handling this illegal access exception, so then it will print this cost along with the exception object that is Java dot lang dot illegal access exception with that message. Have printed demo, so that will be printed over here. You can look at this output over here. You will come to know about the output. Okay. So this is an example for throws keyword. Okay. So throws you have to write it uh, it with method name. So this is a method name that is static white throw one. After that you write throws. Then you have to write the list of exceptions. Here it is showing only one exception, and so I have listed only one exception over here. Okay. So the last keyword of exception handling is finally. So you can look at this finally. A code in final block will always execute whether or not the exception has occurred. Okay. So the code uh, which is present inside finally will. Always be executed whether or not the exception is 
handled or whether it is exactly not handled. So we don't know. So finally, we'll execute that block. So it allows it allows to run uh, any series of types of statements. Okay. Finally, creates a block of code. Uh, a block of code that will be executed after try and catch block has completed before the code following try and catch block. So finally, code always is executed after this try and catch block is completed. So after this try and catch block, you have to write a finally block, and then finally block will be executed after each try and catch block has been executed. So finally, block will execute whether or not exception is thrown. So whether or not exception is thrown, that doesn't matter to our finally block. So whether or not the exception is thrown, the finally but the finally block will be executed. Next, if an exception is thrown. The final block will execute even if no catch statement matches with that exception. Consider uh, an exception throwing each automatic exception, but you have not written any catch clause to handle uh, that automatic exception. Uh, and even though uh, you think that uh, nobody will handle that exception, uh, and default exception handler will take care of that exception. After that, also so even no. Cache statement matches with that exception, but the final block will execute. The final block will execute even no cache statement matches the exception. Okay. Next, this can be useful for closing file handles and freeing up any resources. So this uh, final keyword is uh, used to close the fi file handlers as well as to free up all the resources so that with the object or so that with the So finally, clause is optional. This is optional. You can write it or you may uh, skip it. It is your uh, job. Okay, it is left to you. So, however, each try statement requires at least one catch or final clause. So, each try statement requires at least one or at least one catch or a final clause. If final block is associated with try, then the final block will be executed upon the conclusion of try. So, if the final block is associated with try, then final block will be executed upon the conclusion of try. So, after the conclusion of try, depending on its conclusion, the final block will be executed. So, we'll look at one example on final loop. Last name is finally demo. So here I taken one method by the name prop a. Public uh, static while prop a. So then uh, try make system dot out of return inside prop a. So we are inside the system. So uh, I have the method that inside prop a. Next throw new runtime exception. So now uh, one new runtime exception is thrown. So now you have, you have to write a catch clause that should handle this exception. Uh, that is runtime for uh, exception. So after that, we have done the same. Finally, system dot out dot print element prop is finally. So whether or not this exception is thrown or not, or this exception handle or not, it will not affect the final block. Final block will always execute. So now it will execute prop a. Uh, prop is finally. Okay. Next, I have taken one more uh, method by the name prop b. Static part prop b. So again, I have done inside try block system dot out of print element inside proxy. So here it is inside proxy. So here it is inside proxy. So again, I have done one more finally statement over here. So finally, system dot out of print element proxy is finally. So whether or not exception is handled or not, that doesn't matter to final block. So final block will execute at last. Similarly, so I have taken one more method by the name proxy. Again, I have written system dot auto filter and inside proxy. Next, again, finally proxy is there. So, finally block is that is proxy is finally. So, proxy is finally, proxy is finally, and last one is proxy is finally. So, public study requirements in the address. Next, I have written try. So, inside that I have called proxy. So, control the proxy from the position proxy over here. So, then it will print the value inside proxy. So after that, we will print the uh, new 
run uh, runtime exception is thrown. So you have to handle that exception. So now control will transfer to this runtime exception over here, which you have done in the catch boss. So here the exception is there. So exception is a general word. So it will handle any kind of exception. So whether it will be automatic exception or a array type of or out of word exception, non point exception, any kind of exception will be handled by that exception object. Now it is uh, exception only the runtime exception. So that will be handled by the catch clause. The exception E that is the object of exception. So the exception is called. So uh, again, uh, your control is here still the main function. So blocking. So if exception is thrown, then exception is handled. So after that, you can see here finally is there. So whether or not the exception is thrown or not, so finally will be the execution. Well, will be executed. So as a last statement, finally will execute. So first we will execute inside blocking. Then we will execute that exception. After that, we will execute. Uh, prox is finally, prox is finally, uh, because whether or not exception is thrown or exception is present or not, so it doesn't matter to finally block, finally block will execute, okay, so you know this, next, uh, here I uh, after proc A, I have called proc B, in the main function, okay, so proc B is called, so where the proc B is present, yeah, it is present over here, proc B, so it is system.auto.present, uh, from B and then after that will be finally. Okay, now exception is not thrown, so it will directly print the finally block. So that is box B is finally printed. Right. Next, similarly, I have taken the object of C, uh, that is box C, then we can use the example. Box C, I have called, so box C is written over here, then it will print this uh, inside box C method. And then finally will be executed at last. So proxy finally will be the execution. So this is the result of finally block. So whether or not the exception is thrown or not, it doesn't matter to finally block. At last, any any condition, the finally block will execute. So let us look at the, the output of this program. So I write that here. I'll go to my folder. Java. Java C finally is finally 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 chapter of Java code is successfully compiled. Now we can run the code by using Java that is the first to put inside pockets then finally block that is pockets finally after that exception was there it will throw an exception your so catch block will catch that exception after that inside proxy it will print then uh, block is finally catch inside proxy then block is finally so then this is the result of uh, your program finally demo so here uh, in block a this is process a so first uh, it will execute this statement inside block a so after that throw new runtime exception that is demo. So uh, if the runtime exception is thrown, then, no, then also this finally block will execute first, that is block will finally, then it will go to runtime exception. So, so this is the procedure so why we use uh, this throw and post keyword. So uh, finally keyword. So finally, so after that block is block is finally will be expressed, then it will go to exception. It will handle that exception. So this exception I am handling it over here by writing exception and its object. So this exception refers to any kind of exception and this object is E and print the uh, exception call. You can see that uh, output inside block is next block is finally next uh, finally block is created. After that the exception will be called. So next would be inside block B block is finally inside block C block C finally. This is an example for block uh, sorry, finally method that we already come to know about finally. Okay, I don't want to discuss much about that. So I'll stop here too.